Hello everyone, welcome back to one of my videos and in this video I am I actually got my FSG PB of 644 and I just want to make a quick analysis video on it um, so I hope you guys learned something new from this video and hope it entertains you and without further ado, let's get straight into it so here I'm just, this is the recording before the run and it's actually lagging right now, I'm not really sure why um real quick yeah here we go uh some technical difficulties there here i'm just going in the new world checking my chords to um go to positive positive here i saw my room portal so i'm just gonna head over to it and it's just typical stuff not much explanation is needed here And here I, I made a very small mistake here by lighting the portal first and then um, notice I need wood, which I don't know why I didn't do earlier. Yeah, it's a small mistake, but nothing huge. I'm organizing my inventory while going to the portal and making sure I'm heading towards positive positive because passions always generate there. And here I I want to keep my wood and my uh in the hotbar I usually keep my blocks because um you want you're getting to a bastion without a gold pick so blocks would help. And here I'm just navigating the terrain. And I miss my bow clutcher, which is might be a huge deal in FS3 since you only have a golden apple um, most of the time. And any damage is damage, so. Yeah. And now we're just gonna break all the chests there to get our iron. And we do get iron. And if you can't hear, there's actually blazes um, behind me. Because the fort is just right there. And it's also a soul sand valley, which is a very good terrain to. Um, have a fort to spawn in. Actually, I'm just throwing my gold and I overthrow that gold, which should see in a moment. I'm just organizing my inventory and I notice I overthrow my gold. Uh, minor and minor time loss, nothing huge. Here I got one fire S and I'm just going straight to the blades, waste no time. And here I did something pretty cool, which I tank one hit from the um, skeleton by using the piglins. I'm just uh, doing my typical blaze killing. Okay, I got my first three rods and I'm just gonna head towards the two blazes over there. I'm making sure I don't get damage because I think I'm probably two hit from a blaze here considering I have armor. I got three blazes, blaze rods from that blaze. Just going straight over to my piglins. Got 13 pearls and 48 string which is exactly the amount I need to kill the blaze. And here I'm just waiting for my hunger to go down to eat my golden apple. About here. It's perfect timing. And here I make uh, the biggest mistake of the run which I should have gone to this tunnel and then throw my only ender pro that I can throw but instead I go here which is uh, a bit of a mistake and I throw my pro too much to the towards the x coordinates and I'm just gonna head over to more of my negative z coordinates which is a bit of a time loss um, here I'm just gonna build my nether portal on top of the fortress where I find Pretty good to build my portal there. And it's also pretty decent quartz. And this is a software blind. I think it's the fastest I've ever gotten an FSG run. Considering the last time I played this carry, I was pretty bad at it. Even back then. I have a sub 15 playing FSG. Here I decided to use my Nimbot because I, I wasn't really sure since I spawn in a desert I, I'm not really sure if I'm 
going to the correct stronghold, so it's better to do checking. Um, I'm, I'm wanting my dolphin to spawn here. Which you'll see in a second, I do get a dolphin. There it is. Now, now I also see the stronghold just now, that's why I immediately go to RD. Or else I, I won't really be going into RD because I know the stronghold is going to be close, so you might miss. I'm not really sure if I would miss, but it's just a safer play to do, so. And now I saw this room, which has the most light, so I'm thinking that it's the portal, and it is. Sure, I'm just set to go in with 4 bits, and I just have to make sure I don't choke the 1 cycle. Now it's just uh, typical end stuff. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink, so yeah. I saw while waiting for the dragon to purge. You guys can tell me in the comments if these kinds of videos um, are entertaining to watch or education, educational in any means. If you like watching it, just tell me in the comments. I'll definitely make more of them. Sure, just wait, waiting for the dragon to purge. Well, I want to be sure, so I'm crafting a go that um iron axe here. Now, for a split second, I thought the dragon was purging east west because it's swirling that tower really high up. So I was here. Um. Oh yeah, it's fr frustration. Please don't purge that. Yeah, that's my uh, reaction there. I see the dragon coming down, so I, I, I was a bit relieved there. I'm sure I have no pearls to throw, and I don't really want to kill, the, kill an enderman, because the dragon might perch during that time, and I might miss the perch. Since I, I really just wanted a, a fast run, a sub-7 run, so I don't really want to kill an enderman, wasting time there, and definitely wasting a perch. Sure, just one cycle, enjoy it. And yeah, that is the run, and the one cycle is slightly scuffed as to me. Um, the bets were fine. I didn't really know. I think it's the last bit that is pretty bad, or the third bit. And yeah, that's just the run. And I hope you enjoy this video. And definitely tell tell me in the comments if you like watching these kinds of video. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.